Hey everyone, welcome to Regional Modulars, y'all. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. I'm gonna talk a lot about this place as I give you a tour of this home here today. Um, this is a new location, okay? Give you just a shot of, I'm gonna try to get some drone shots too. This is, this is one of those places like, you know, obviously we're here focusing on this house today. This is the Liberty, by the way. I'm gonna talk more about that as well. Uh, but this is just one of those locations where, I mean, you just, you just gotta check them out if you're over this way just to see these beautiful, beautiful homes, the way they're set up and everything. We do have a entry right there. We have us a front porch as well. Uh, we're gonna get back around and see that, but I wanted to come back here, give you one quick look, show you some of them houses down there. Okay. So this is an all-frame modular home right here, as you can tell. So basically you come into this place, you sit down with it, you find a model that you like, and then you can kind of customize it to just that dream look that you're looking for. And yeah, they handle everything. So we've got these doors right here. Let's see what we got here on this corner. As you can tell, we've got the really big roof pitch on this house. Now I'm gonna make my way back around. We just, we just made a whole loop around that house. This house right here, multiple levels on it. Oof, yeah, I'm gonna be touring all these homes. See, I'll stay tuned to the channel, okay? Got us a little bit of some shake vinyl up there at our top. Yep, like I said, we do have the porch. This house has um, nine foot ceilings, a very nice crown molding and trim. You're gonna see all that once we get inside, which we're about to do. Y'all do me one favor and drop a like on this video if you will. That'll help me out so much if you would take the time to do that. There's a gnat that just keep it just keeps following me. I'm like, I'm I'm finna have to stop the video and go to town on this thing. <laughs> Electrical outlet there. Let's go ahead and make <laughs> all right, let's head inside. What a view right when you walk in. Let me come right here and kind of show you this area, this nice little foyer area that we have. Yes, like I mentioned, nine foot ceilings. Look at that crown molding, foo, foo, foo. all the way throughout this house. Look at these baseboards. So in case you don't know, I'll give you just a little, uh, little bit right here and then I'll try to talk some more at the end. Basically these homes, are set on a foundation. You know, say you've got your property set up, you're ready for the house, they bring it out, they take it with a crane and set it on top of a foundation. These homes are gonna be built to state code, okay? Gonna be built to the code uh, that your state requires. Obviously here in North Carolina, this is the area they're gonna service. Uh, and they may service some surrounding areas. I'll try to find some of that, find some of that out. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video as well. Beautiful flooring. I like we've got these lighter colored walls with this uh, this flooring just a little bit darker, really contrast. I like that a lot. Sonia, you're gonna see some of that on our cabinets and stuff as well over in the kitchen. One of my favorite things about this home, y'all be sure to drop a comment and let me know your favorite thing. But one of my favorite things is the fact that it, it is an all-frame modular home. It's built to the nines, it's beautiful, but it's not like, overly big like too big you know i mean it's a it's a, don't get me wrong it's a, it's a good bit of square footage but nothing crazy 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 a lot of wasted space it's got everything you need i think it's gonna be perfect for that family that's maybe got a kid or two uh but needs a really nice place this is th this is it all right so as we walk into the kitchen here's what i want to talk to you about darker tops wider cabinets Darker cabinets, wider tops. You see that there? Now you could do a lot of customization. This is the way they designed this show model here. The 
backsplash right there comes all the way around. You're gonna see that. You know, one cool thing I just noticed is you know there's not any outlets out here. They're up under here. Wanted to show that to y'all. Got them all down through there. Even the light switches. What does that mean? We got lights under the cabinets. Oh, we got, sorry. We do. Look at that. You learned, I've never seen that. What about y'all? Now I've spotted this area right here. And I like to see that. I like to see that. That way you're getting use of every bit of space that you got here in this corner. Now I wanna open this. Soft close cabinets. Sink right here where you can pull out, spray whatever you need to there. Got some electrical outlet on that end of the kitchen island. And yeah, so same cabinets here, just a different color. Kind of funny, I remember seeing these these same light fixtures in uh, some Palm Harbor homes that I did in Florida not too long ago, if y'all y'all remember that. Um, all right, so here's the, the back doors that we looked at. And I mean, just a perfect setup for a back deck, back porch, whatever you want back here. You come in, you know, not only are you close to your dining room table for when you're eating, but you know what, another thing I'm thinking about right here, well, you need to come in, you need to grab something you got perfect room for that. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. But yes, we do have another electrical outlet there. All right, now I noticed this when I was down here in the kitchen. I'm going to step back down this way. So I noticed this right here, like, I like this. Uh, we've got these coat hangers, got these nice little storage spots right here. Uh, you know, little things that you could put there that you don't have to, uh, you know, crowd up your kitchen island with. That's what I think about when I think about that. But not only that, I mean, it just looks very nice. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have any like cheap look or anything to it. So right, what is this? <gasps> it's a pantry. Now this house surprised me because I did not know it had a pantry. When I, I checked it out a while ago, but I didn't check every closet out. Or I didn't open up every single door, so I didn't even know it had a pantry. But that's just gonna take it from a 10 to a 12, okay? Here's that side door I'll show you. Remember when we walked around right here on the side, if you're facing the house, it'll be on the right. And then right over here is going to be the utility spot. You got your washer and dryer kind of tucked away real nice over here. So if you got people in the kitchen and they like they can look down here and see all your junk. Because we, I know. <laughs> no, Caitlin, she's watching. She's like, no, that's just you. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll clutter a place up pretty easy. But yeah, it's kind of tucked away here. Very nice. You got an electrical outlet there. So kind of what I'm saying is like, you know. If you're in the kitchen, this is the kind of view that you look, you got. All right, let's get to looking at some bedrooms. And I know I seem like I was kind of brief in the living area, but I mean, I want to talk to you about the square footage we got right here. Wow. You could definitely add some more in there if you, if you wanted to do that. Step down here, this, what is this? Okay, your water heater's in here. 
You also have a nice uh, storage rack there. Two bedrooms and a bath, nine foot ceilings throughout this house. Continued every room, every hall, everything. Okay, I did check out uh, the main bathroom before I started videoing it. I, I, one of my favorite things about the whole bath is these faucets. Um, and, it, and I mean, I know it's just, you know, like it's just a faucet chance, but I've seen so many faucets toward homes, but these, I love them. I love how they're just, they're, they're big. They're really eye-catching. Could you p potentially get that in a matte black is kind of what I'm wondering. Not that I'd want to do it in this particular house with everything else, but just kind of curious. We've got the shower tub combo right here. They went with the white cabinets, darker tops in this bath. Now, here's this bedroom. All right, let's not mess around. Let's go ahead and make our way to the main bedroom. Hey, y'all come on. Oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. This is the Liberty. I know I mentioned, oh, wait, where am I going? No. Getting turned around. It's my first video tour of the day, you guys. And so it's gonna be a long one. They got a lot of inventory here. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm already messing up. Ooh, this could be even longer. Access to the attic right there. That's great to see. Come into our closet right here. I noticed we got double racks. Oh, let's see. Hey everyone, well I hope y'all have enjoyed the tour. Got somebody I want you to meet right here. <laughs> this is, I'm trying to hold my camera, there we go. This is Graydon Clark Cullen's little brother. Cullen actually got a meeting today. I'm trying to get y'all some photos of that, but uh, thank you all so much for your prayers. Uh, we are very, very blessed and very, very thankful and just filled. Our hearts are filled. He's doing great. Thank you all so much. Yeah, so this is where I came and I, this is when I noticed those. <gasps> oh my goodness, not the shower yet. This is when I noticed those faucets, but you've already seen those, but another thing is these drawers. I can't believe that didn't really catch my attention. I like that design. Of course, they're gonna be soft clothes as well. Even have some cabinets over there. So this house is just gonna have a really big tile shower. I'm sure you can option in a tub or something like that, but here's the water closet. Look, look at that, y'all. We've got nine foot ceilings in there. I told you, everywhere. Wish y'all start believing me. Shower head way up there at the top of that nine foot set. <laughs> you know, like, I get it, Chance. Well, I just want to make sure. I want, if there's one thing I want you to know about this house, 
I want you to know it's got nine foot. Ooh, I really like that. Uh, it's like cedar there on that uh, dormer. It's got nine foot ceilings. I want to make sure you know that. We've got the wand as well. What do y'all think about this house? I need to hear from y'all. Definitely, uh, y'all, y'all, let me know what you think. Uh, also, stick around. I'm gonna. I'll try to. I hadn't really got to sit down and gather information on any of these homes here, but I'll do that when I leave, and then that's what we're gonna do in our outros. Talk about stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But I also got to mention. Please like the video if you haven't. If you will subscribe to our channel. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but yeah, we are, we're going all over the nation. I was just in Texas and Florida. Now I'm up here in North Carolina. We would uh, actually, I think I got some plans to go to Arizona later uh, this year. So subscribe to the notification bell and share this video if you will. Thank you. So a couple of things I want to get into on this particular home and then we'll be done. But yes, we're actually getting to come home today. It's an exciting time. It'll be our first night all together and uh, see what Cullen really thinks about this little, <laughs> he, he's such a mama's boy. It's, it's going to be interesting to say the least, but it's, man, I've been loving eating it up. Thank you all so much. Once again, um, one thing that I thought was really cool when I seen this home on Nationwide's website, it's built by Nationwide, was that option of that upstairs. Now just keep in mind, it depends on all different factors, how you order this house, stuff like that. But, uh, that was cool to see. And then, uh, yeah, this house I, I love it for the square footage and what you get. You know, you're getting a high quality home, but you're not overly expensive or overly locked, you know, too big, a lot of wasted space. Information will be in the description. We have our website link in there. Uh, that's if you want to use that, see about getting in contact with regional modulars, see about getting financing pre-approvals, anything like that. Uh, we have our members area link in the description as well. Uh, the only other thing I want to tell you is the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night and get into some estimated retail pricing. And this is just pricing that they have there at their location. You got to keep in mind, uh, you know, there's so many factors with a house like this, where you're setting it, what all you, what all has to be done. Uh, you know, obviously the, the, the foundation, the, you know, the power, water, the septic, everything like that. There's a lot of things that we've got to, we've got to account for freight charges with a house like this size, but this will give you a great idea. This is what they have. This is actually just in their show model. So if you actually go there, you'll see all this uh, right there inside the houses as well, but this will give you a great idea at the time of recording right over both. Thank you all so much for watching, but even more than watching these videos, I know some of y'all been praying for us and I'm so very thankful for it. I will see you on the next tour, Saturday night, 645 Central. See you.